In this video, I'll discuss external preamps for 2 meter and 70 centimeter. I'll cover the make and model of the preamps I'm using, how to configure the ICOM 9700 for using external preamps, and at the end of the video, I'll try to demonstrate the impact of having the external preamp on versus off for a weak satellite pass. The preamps I decided to use is the SSB SP200 and the SSB SP70. I'll include that detail in the video comment. This video is not meant to be a review of the preamps and I'm not affiliated with the manufacturer. I picked these preamps based on Googling reviews and reading comments from other satellite operators. The SSB preamps are ultra low noise mass mounted RF sense or box preamplifiers. They have a 0.5 dB noise figure, RF sensed operation up to 100 watts, high power capability up to 750 watts with a sequencer, an input bandpass filter, adjustable gain from 10 to 20 dB, as well as a voltage feed via coax cable or via separate feed. In female connectors are featured for the RF in and RF out, as well as an SO239 connector for separate voltage feed. Switching off power to the preamps is handled in two ways. The SSB preamps will automatically sense RF being transmitted and shut the preamp off to prevent damage up to 100 watts. This is done automatically using the feed line to drive the preamp. In my configuration, I have an IC9700, which can drive the preamp power over the feed line. I can turn on or off the external preamp uh, for each band, two meter, 70 centimeter, and if I had one on 23 centimeter, I could control it as well. Individually from using the IC9700 functions. When I transmit on say 70 centimeter, the 9700 will automatically turn off the external preamp power and turn it on again when I stop transmitting. To run power to an external preamp from the IC9700, you first must enable the preamps for each band you wish to turn it on for. You do this by selecting Menu, Set, Connectors, External Preamp, And then for each band that you want it on, you tap it to turn it on or off. So for two meters, on. 70 centimeters, on. Now that you've enabled the preamps, you must actually turn it on for each band, which will cause the IC9700 to drive 13 volts to the feed line for the antenna port selected. You do that by selecting function, external preamp, and it switches to on when you tap it. We'll go back and we'll pick the uh, other band, in this case the two meter, and we'll hit function, external preamp on, and that's all there is to it. It is now driving about 13, 14 volts to the preamps. I'm running a hundred foot of LMR 400 into preamps which in turn feeds into 12 feet of LMR Ultraflex into the M2 Leo pack. I will demonstrate the impact that an external preamp has when receiving satellite RS44 on 70 centimeters. Preamp's off. Preamp is on. Preamp off. Preamp on. Preamp off. Thank you. 
So you can see the preamp has a significant impact on my reception. Uh, I can't say what it'll do for you with your situation, but I have a hundred foot of uh, LMR 400 running uh, to the shack from, from the uh, preamps. So it definitely paid off in my case. For the two meter preamp, uh, and even the 70 centimeter preamp, some folks say that it generates more noise and it's not worth it. My experience is, is it does do that for some satellites and not for all of them. Uh, it seems to me that that noise level really quietens down when the satellite gets in range and you really are just kind of bringing in the signal more and, and it kind of goes by the wayside. So I certainly would buy mine again, uh, but I, I make no guarantees how it may or may not help you. Thanks for watching.